From the News Talk ZB Newsroom, this is News Fix. In this update, hopes aren't high for a salvage operation for the sunken HMNZS Manawanui off the coast of Samoa. The boat grounded off the southern coast of Samoa last night. 75 people were rescued early this morning with two needing hospital treatment. Chief of Navy Rear Admiral Garen Golding says it'll largely depend on the depth of the wreckage whether the $100 million ship is recoverable. Defence Minister Judith Collins says she could never be embarrassed by the Defence Force and she's just grateful no one died. This could have been a truly terrible day, but actually it's a bad day. Clean-up work in the south following significant rain is well underway. The states of emergency in both Dunedin and Clutha have been lifted as councils work to clear roads and slips and fix water infrastructure. Dunedin locals are being warned to be vigilant about hand-washing to avoid gastro illnesses and to stay out of the harbour and city beaches in case of contamination. Clutha residents are being warned about contaminated water in low-lying areas with the Kaitangata wastewater treatment plant still full and discharging into the Clutha River. Urgent water conservation notices are also in force in some areas. In Northland, fire crews have contained a large fire in a remote area. The vegetation fire broke out near Ahipara yesterday morning. It's burnt 177 hectares within a perimeter of 7.1 kilometres. There's no active fire front and a fire and emergency are working with forestry firefighters using heavy machinery. They're being supported by helicopters to ensure the containment holds. Tonight, specialist drone crews will be doing thermal imaging to check for hot spots, and from tomorrow, crews will be on the ground checking for further hot spots. Police are responding to a serious single vehicle crash on the Waikato Expressway at Huntley. Emergency services were called to the scene around 3 o'clock. A large stretch of the Waikato Expressway is closed in both directions between Topuri and Huntley. That's news. In sport, to Trafalgar Park in Nelson. Jacob sends it into the grandstand. The Taranaki Bulls are triumphant. The Ranfurly Shield will spend the summer in Taranaki. The Bulls have run in five tries for a 42-29 NPC win over the defending Tasman Marco, as you heard there. Taranaki shot out to a 20-3 lead after 28 minutes and led 23-8 at half time. A couple of late tries saw the Marco pull back the margin to six before the Bulls halfback Adam Lennox scored in the corner. An expectation for the Silver Ferns to be back to their fighting best in tonight's dead rubber third tiny Jamison trophy test with England in Invercargill. New Zealand's conceded the series with a match to spare for the first time, but 16 test silver fern Margie Foster says if they can nail the critical moments, they'll win. That's sport. I'm Joe Gilfillan. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.